Hello and welcome to Savannah Alalia TV, where you learn to listen to your intuition and create a life you love. There are no gurus here. You are your own guru. I am simply here to remind you to pay attention to the guru inside you. Unsure if you have a guru inside you? Trust me, you do, because we all do. And when you learn to listen, that is when the magic happens. In 2020, my life as I knew it changed. Most people could say the same, but for me it was due to my health. Having been physically strong all my life, except for a few times, I've broken things, sacrum, sternum, pinky, two years ago, I found myself feeling stuck in my body and none of my usual supports were having any impact. I knew I was dealing with a simple issue because I asked my body if she was okay and I learned from years of practice to trust her and she said yes, but she was stuck. So I had to go even deeper and ask why, what and how? Why was this happening? What did my body need and how could I open up again? The answers to these questions were surprising and unexpected. So the first question why is this happening? I always like to reframe this. Otherwise it can feel like a downward spiral into victimhood. My reframe is, this is happening for me rather than to me. So what does it mean? In my case, it meant slowing down, integrating all the things I've learned over the years and making sure I'm serving in as many ways as possible. I've chosen to retire from offering hands-on treatments to focus on these new ways to serve. Over the last 11 years, I've been exploring and creating other ways to serve. The last two years have fast-tracked that exploration. On to the next question. What did my body need? So she was speaking loud and clear, and the answer was rest, attention, time, quiet, listening and unpacking of wisdoms. I needed to, she needed to release old toxic ways of being, to be stretched beyond what I'd done before, and also more space. So how I usually listen to my body is to move her. The only thing was that every time I did move her, I would end up in pain with like a three-day migraine. Really fun, or not. Moving my body was no good at this time, so I tried having others move my body, all types of different massage, and some of them really helped, but I was getting six plus hours a week of massage just to function. Then I started to look at a number of other alternatives, any of which I recommend, but too many to list here. So if you want to know more, drop me a message and I'll send you some information. Now everything helped, but something was still wrong. And oddly, what felt good and what helped were the opposite of what would usually work. So an example is, I needed to be massaged down my body rather than up. Up would give me migraines or cause muscles to seize in my back. Or I needed to be massaged out rather than in. So mostly when you're trained to do massage, it's always to move towards the heart. So this was a bit confusing, but I was really listening to this because it was what was feeling good. This would help and the muscles would release, but the tension would then slowly return. So this led me to ask the next question. How could I open up again and stay open? So I was chatting to a girlfriend and felt compelled to share the issues I'd been having. And she told me about an amazing reading that she'd had. I was a bit skeptical, but I trust this lady and her radar for BS is pretty good. So I booked a reading and without any prompting from me, the reader told me all the issues I was having. His main comment was, it's coming from your mouth. So just before lockdown, I was actually in LA and I'd been talking to a client and she told me about a lady who did oral myofunctional release. So I had actually booked to see this lady, but I'd unexpectedly had to fly back to the UK due to lockdown. So that appointment got sidelined until this reading. So when the reader asked me if I'd heard of it, I said yes, which surprised him as most people are unaware of what it actually is. He told me to explore it and to do some work to get the trauma out of my spine from when I'd cracked my sacrum and from a yoga injury. 
This trauma was ricocheting around my insides, he said, but it was struggling to get out due to the twist. My hypermobility is a joy sometimes. But after the reading, I booked in with an oral myofunctional therapist here in the UK. When they measured me up, we discovered that although the average woman's upper palate should be 42 mil and can vary by a few mil, mine was 29 mil. It was very, very out. And the fascial line in my head was basically pulling everything up in my body. Hence, my body was craving this downward massage process. It was such a relief to learn what I was dealing with. And if I'd ignored my intuition when it told me to share my issues with my friend, I'd still be searching for an answer. Sometimes guidance comes from the most unexpected places. And now that I know the full root of the physical issue, I was able to begin to get to grips with what I actually needed to change it in my daily life actions, physically and mentally. So that part of the mystery had been solved. The moral of this story basically is this. Listen to the first things that show up around you when the issue first presents itself. And if you miss them, find or make the time to go in and ask. I'd like to invite you to share in the comments any stories about things that have been happening in your body. Remember, as ever, trust your instincts, follow your intuition. The world needs your voice and the magic it brings to us all. If you've enjoyed this video and feel it could really support someone you know to unlock and live their potential, then feel free to share it forward. I would love to know in the comments below this video or send me an email about the things that you decide to do. I look forward to reading your stories in the comments. Jump on my mailing list to stay reminded and connected with your intuition, plus some special things I only share in email. I look forward to chatting with you next time on Savannah Alalia TV. Take care and talk soon. So I had to go in even deeper and ask what? No, that's not even the question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So I had to go in even deeper and ask why? Oh, Ooh, that's all right. So I had to go even deeper and ask why, what, and how? <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know why it's so funny. <laughs>